So Anna, uh, have you ever been at Catalan Parliament? Oh yes, uh, you mean the building at Plaza San Jaume? Oh no, San Jaume is uh, the Generalitat Palace in front of the City Hall. But uh, the Parliament is uh, at this big park called Ciutadella. Here is a, a, a big chamber with all our representatives. Okay, so so who rules then? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, we've got this uh, long uh, historical uh, parliamentary uh, thing that uh, it's longer than British Parliament even. Uh, so we are used to rule ourselves, but this is a very complex matter. Have you ever seen any Catalan policemen or...? Oh yes, they are the Mossos de Squadra. Mossos de Squadra depend on the government, Catalan government, um, that comes from this parliament. But we can amplify all this information yeah. if we watch this uh, professor talking about history, politics and mass media, okay? Hola, soc Tomás de Montagut. Hola. Soy Josep Gifreu, catedràtic d'Història del Dret i de les Institucions de la Universitat Pompeu Fabra, catedràtic emèrit de Comunicació de la Universitat Pompeu Fabra, i he vingut a explicar-vos algunes de les fites que considero més rellevants de la història del dret català. Us vull parlar de la situació i la importància dels mitjans de comunicació per a la recuperació de la llengua i la cultura catalana. Catalunya ha una extensiva història. This journey across the centuries has ultimately led it to become the nation as we know it today. We must look further into the details of this journey if we want to analyze and understand the current situation correctly, to see where Catalonia has come from, and to be able to guess what Catalonia's future evolution will be like. The independence of the Carolinian Empire, the alliance known as the Crown of Aragon, or the creation of a self-governing body which remains to this day, that is, the Generalitat, are just a few of the milestones that have marked the Catalan people. Likewise, we will look deeper into key events in human history, focusing on the effects these have had on Catalonia. And of course, we will not forget to look at the historical relationships that Catalonia has maintained with the Spanish state and that are still in effect today. We will also discover how the technological revolution is affecting mass media in Catalonia, which media this revolution is most detrimental to, and how the media are adapting to contemporary communication trends. Also, we will analyze in detail the presence of the Catalan language in the media and how, throughout the years, it has defended its place within the vast communicative ecosystem. Upon finishing this week, those who have decided to watch the videos will be knowledgeable about the Catalan people and territories, historical evolution, as well as about the media and its fluctuation throughout the years.